Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by the channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or an uplift that you truly need it for today or even this week or this month or even the beginning of this beautiful new year and happy new year please go ahead and give a thumbs up and it's truly appreciated and um sending so much love and light towards everybody anything that you need to get through your you know your minutes your moments your hours your days your weeks your months and years sending it towards you many times fold and um as for the cross watchers as well as the enemies hey much love to you god bless you <laughs> as well um and you know anything that you're placing against me hey it's return to sender so, um, today my video is about to be about, um, Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's, a gentle, uh, talk with self during spiritual trans uh, transformations in any level. You know, you may be going through, um, heavy transitions, transmutation, uh, uh, just any kind of transference you know right now we just ended thank god the retrograde um so there's no more retrograde for i think until april um and you know going through all these different things uh and just been sitting back you know reflecting on self and stuff like that and um just basically having a gentle talk with yourself it's just basically you know allowing yourself to be gentle with yourself you know you're going through many changes that can feel very uncomfortable change is always uh, uncomfortable facing your fears facing you know your doubts you know trying to strengthen your confidence um it can be very challenging for you you know a lot of times we can go through different things on forgiveness forgiveness of self forgiveness of others um making sense of uh, all the chapters that is taking place in our life you know this is the beginning of a new year happy new year as well i haven't did any videos for this new year um and just sitting here focusing on self so you know i just had to take a you know step back for a while as i always do if you know you've been with me for a while i do that very randomly but um just being able to embrace everything that's taking place in your life you know challenges are taking place left and right but these are all taking place just to be able to strengthen you, um, being able to help you in different ways uh, that you may not have known why. You know, you're going through different adversity and diversity, but this is opening in new doors for new opportunities for you to be able to challenge yourself. You know, being able to say, I can overcome anything that's placed in my path. Um, it may be distractions. It may be enemies. It may be um, spiritual warfare. Uh, different things where you, you feel like something has been placed on you. These are all different things to help you grow and change and being able to change your perspective of everything that's taking place because anything that comes into initial contact with us is helping us heal in unimaginary uh, ways as well as unexpected, you know, because um, a lot of times we're trying to ask universe and God, you know, you're putting out all these different things on healing vibes, you know, you're uh, going through different energy forms where you could be conflicting with yourself as well as others you know and um it's not always easy and when you're going through these different things it's making you really challenge yourself to be able to push forward and these are those different things is telling you to have most the utmost confidence in yourself more than any right now um you're closing doors on different things that you know um this no longer serving you uh disconnecting with a lot of different people you know you may have had a close bond with a lot of people whether it's family friends you know lovers uh close friends um, ace, aces, you know, ride or dies and stuff like that. Either, you know, the bond is becoming strengthened or it's falling away. And a lot of times that can be very hurtful, but it's just like if, if times have expired, you can't make those vibrations stay when it's no longer needed in your life. You know, you have uh, had initial contact with certain people. And it's time to pass on to be able to go through different things. You know, a lot of this time right now, you may have even felt like, you know, I've, I've been spending a lot of 
time by myself, you know, been a lot of solitude, but this is at that more time for you to be able to focus on self, you know, um, be able to get away from the distractions. You know, you may have been putting a lot of love in a lot of things, then it just felt like it wasn't coming back to you. Now is that time to, you know, really place it on yourself and really being able to, um, really step forward in that you know it's it, a lot of times we have different things where we can be our own worst enemy at times we can be our own worst critic and these are those times I was telling you add that extra love into yourself add that love into yourself that you may have been giving others or you know allow yourself to be um you know because it keeps coming up being gentle with yourself being gentle with yourself um there's different things that you know is maybe coming up that you thought you have also um healed from and it'll be coming from different perspectives. You know, you could be cleaning. You could be, you know, they're telling you to be able to declutter. You know, all, all different things you're holding on to that, you know, you may not use anymore. You know, give it to goodwill or, you know, pitch it. <laughs> you know, there'll be different things that is no longer needed in your life. So it's not meant for you to be holding on to all these different things um, that uh, that is maybe no longer needed into your life. You know, you may have been going through a lot of more meditations, you know, as to being called to you um, to clear your vibration, you know, because we're, we're constantly changing. We're going through different vibrations where it's constantly transforming. And for you to do that, it's like trans ascension, transition, you know, transmutation. You're going through different things and it's hitting heavy. And for it to be hitting heavy is maybe you've been in a vibration or a frequency um, at a certain rate for so long. Now it's telling you to have that confidence within yourself to be able to move forward. You know, it's time for you to step up a little bit, you know, until, you know, next time, you know, and it could be something where you're stepping up, you know, something new every day. And it's being able to allow yourself to challenge yourself. You know, if it's coming up in repetitive uh, vibration, um, is uh, you know, telling you, hey, invest in that. You know, you're having new creativity. You're having downloads coming in left and right, left and right, left and right. And um, dreams are coming more vivid, you know, different stuff you know be seeing you know you riding on the back of crocodiles or something like that fighting sharks you know <laughs> these are little different stuff that's coming in where it's really telling you to pay attention to your dreams you know different things comes into your dreams where it's giving you hidden messages uh the vibes are getting to the point where even where you're shedding old vibes of yourself because you're coming more extra sensitive you know you're uh, being able to read between the lines of different frequencies this may be challenging you and even different things that comes in where um even other people may be placing resistance on you for you not to grow, for you not to speak into your truth. That's also being in, in a, an intentional vibration for, you know, your ancestors to be able to apply pressure on you. You're needing these different things to take place into your life where um, it's telling you... Uh, being able to see the perspective of what's being shown to you from other people. You know, even if it's uh, something where people may want to attack you, you have to be at that vibe to be able to say, you know, I have to not take that personal. Th these are your moments for your self-growth. You know, this is not something where you can, you know, make anybody else go through that growth if they're not initially ready because it's just, you know, there's times where I even used to try to really harp on people healing and it's just like, that's not our job. You post to be able to hand that seed over uh, for other people and then you have to be able to focus on your own seed you're watering it you're talking to it you being able to give that vibration of nourishment nutrients and all these different things while others to be able to do it you know their own way too you know your your journey may be a little bit lonely right now and it's just at that point where this is like you know at that time this is that time to really focus on self you know, um, you're growing at rapid rate, you know, being able to allow yourself to even, you know, give yourself celebration of congrats on even the little victories you have. Maybe you have gone through a whole week without thinking negative talk. You know, you may have gone through that type of person where, you know, um, you may talk negative towards yourself. And if you have gone day by day where you have set a goal for yourself to say, you know what, today I'm going to allow myself to not, um, speak negative of myself, not to allow myself to focus on the negative things that has happened in my past. Um, if it's coming up, you have to be able to tell yourself it's not true. This is not, you know, a part of that, your, your reality anymore. These are the different things we can really allow ourselves to appreciate what situations has taught us, what our people in our past have taught us, you know, relationships of all forms have taught us, and it helped you grow. It helped you have information about yourself to create something better for you. And these are the different things that, you know, you can truly be able to appreciate and um you know and just be grateful for those different things that's taking place into your life because these are the things that you may have 
uh, not known before that you're knowing now because you know a lot of times you know different situations may come up and you may feel shameful or embarrassed like oh I wish I never did that or I wish I never you know said those different things and it's just like don't be hard on yourself as well you're doing gentle talk you know um, being able to say you know I know so much more than I did then you know this is that learning experience for me to either either change my perspective change my way of being change my way of seeing and also speaking and and this is my chance where I'm allowing myself to grow from those things. When you're allowing yourself to um, place forgiveness within other people as well as in yourself, you know, negative things come up to where, um, you know, it may be something that was hurtful that was either you have said or somebody else have said. And just being able to know when, you know, when it's still bothersome towards you is just like showing forgiveness towards that person and forgiving yourself for holding on to that moment in life. You know, anything that we have said, you know, we've, we've said things out of anger. We have said things where we're based off of emotions instead of logic, you know, and being able to, if you have that chance to ask for forgiveness for those people, you know, it's like, I apologize for what I've said, you know, um. And, it, it, you know, a lot of times we can be able to put pride in our way, you know, at times it's like, oh, you know, they said something hurtful to me first. And, you know, and it's just like how we treat other people is the character of how we feel about ourselves. You know, um, there'll be different times where things are just like that, just to be like that. You know, you have to be able to understand, you know, and I've also had to tell myself that way, you know, um, some people are just like that. You know, some people just, you're not the only person they do that to. A lot of times they do it to themselves. You have to, you know, place prayers of healing vibes towards that. You know, healing is not something that's very easy to do. You know, um, just like I was saying a few minutes ago, when we, we try to force people to heal, you know, um, we can't do that. You know, all you can do is just ask, you know, your ancestors or their ancestors or even talk to their higher selves to be able to give them that, that guidance for them to be able to do that. Um, but there's a lot of things that's very, you know, heavy, you know, you, you, there are some people that are even within ourselves, you may have catch yourself in a void, you know, where we're giving excuses where we're okay, I'll deal with it tomorrow or, you know, I'm doing this because of this, and, you know, and, it, and it's just like, you're going through a very heavy transition. And going through those very heavy transitions, that mess will have you all over the place. It looks like your energy will be all over the place, and you're just like, "Oh my God!" You know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm stuck, or I feel like I'm stagnant, and that's all on illusion. It wants to keep you in that loop, and it's just like it's on a fear-based vibration, and it's just those things are being birthed out. And when we're doing the burst out vibration on that, you know, it's just like any woman, you know, I know a man don't know what that feel like, but a woman, you know, if you gave birth to children, you know, you've gone through your nesting stage, you know, you're cleaning up everything. That's what a lot of people are doing, you know, starting from, you know, from the end of the uh, new year, you know, a couple of, probably on the same week of new year, people start getting rid of a lot of things to starting on a new year. So you don't want to go through the same movements that you were last year, the same drama you were last year. Or just the same direction you were last year when it's really trying to urge you, hey, take a new perspective or hey, release this or hey, heal from this or hey, you know, being able to change your perspective or your, uh, uh, I forgot what's the other word, perspective and, and projective, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what word I'm trying to come up with is perspective and, um, oh God, I forgot the other word, but it's all right but you know going through those different things you're you're really allowing yourself to challenge yourself you know um being able to say okay i'm gonna work out today or hey i'm gonna eat you know more you know nutritious foods instead of you know junk junk food or whatever like that you're going through a detox you know so your your pet your sleep patterns may be different um just the way you're doing things may be catching you off guard it's like dang i don't do that or i don't talk like that or you know my energy is a lot more calming or you know my energy is frustrated so let me allow myself to understand you know journal you know what is what is this vibration of me being frustrated from or what is this uh vibration of you know why why do I feel like I'm in this vibration or first off is this even my frequency or is this even my energy because there's a lot of hidden things that doesn't it doesn't you know even when it has something to do with people it's the spirit you know I had to be able to learn to stop saying is that person is doing this is this and that but it's spirit surrounding people it could be spirit surrounding you 
um, or it, it could be a spirit that somebody else is dealing with. You know, you have to be able to put yourself in, in a very harsh protective bubble right now. You know, um, you're going through those different changes that are very needed. You know, when, when you are that one that's being chosen to break generational curses, we have to understand when we're doing that, nothing's going to come easy for us. We're always going to be fighting a battle. Half of the time, the battle's not even yours. You know, you're trying to close chapters, and it's trying to make sure that you don't close those chapters because when, when you do, generational curses are being ended. And that, you know, devil don't want that. Negative energy doesn't want that. So anything attached to that is always going to challenge you. And when it's challenging you, it may have a different intent for it. But we have to be able to remind ourselves on the daily when those things happen, this is really strengthening me. You know, anything that's coming against me, either to block me, distract me, distort me, put me in a confusion loop, illusion loop, and all these different things, it's making me become a beast. You know, these are the different things that, you know, is really challenging challenging me to become a better person if I didn't have these things in my life adversity diversity diversity you know it's opening new doors or new opportunities to be able to show other people you can overcome anything anything that is placed in your way it's not going to be easy to do because nobody you, you, nobody has an easy life there's nobody who's been successful that doesn't have a troubling past there's always a, a version or a chapter in our life we never read about uh, read out loud towards anybody that's why I'm going to say and I say read about but sometimes you know there'll be different times that you don't want to read on certain things because it could be a tearjerker or this things can pr bring me out of my element of emotions when you're going through change change is always going to be very uncomfortable very uncomfortable and for those things to happen you know there's always going to be when you at that point where you know what I'm going to allow myself to grow I'm going to allow myself to be in that vibe of positive thinking there's always like there's going to always be a ear a ear listening or a spirit listening oh you're you're trying to think positive oh okay so we're going to go ahead and put all kind of negative blockages in there just for you to do that and not realizing God and ancestors applied that towards that for you to be it's all mind over matter if it doesn't mind it doesn't matter if it, does, it, it matters it's not going to mind you know you're going to have to be able to go through these different things in life because this is all based on how your mind works you know these are different things that's going to come up to where you know people might even start an start a argument with you and it, it's up to your choice before you decide to respond not react but respond am I going is this even worth my time is this applying to what I'm trying to move forward to is this even something that I even need to you know have a, a, a retort retortion or whatever you know do I need to retort towards that I know retortion probably ain't a word but I'm a I'm a, I'm a you know, go ahead and use that for today. It's like, is this a retortion? <laughs> like, what is a retortion? Do I need to retort to this situation? No. Okay. Then I, I know it's, it's best for me to be keep moving. And this is like, okay, this is not mine. This is not, you know, my energy or these are different things that I really don't need to be focused on. But it's just like when, when we have something that we know what's a part of the game plan or what we need to uh, keep our eye on the prize we have to understand it's not going to be a direct touchdown for that you're going to have different things that's placed on there you know how they say you know God always say enemy um, can't destroy you but it can distract you and that's the whole point on that you know and like I always say you know if you watch me before the devil and God goes hand in hand but they have two different intentions for the different things that's taking place in your life Maybe, you know, something that you really care about. God and devil knows there are certain things you hold dear into your life. They will block them out of your life. They will snatch them out of your life um, and just downright, you know, make them walk away. You know, it could be a person. It could be a situation. It could be a job. Uh, it could be your marriage. It can be your children. And these are the different things where if it's meant to come back. You have to be able to be at peace to let them go. And I know it's hard to be able to do that. It's like easier said than done. I had to be able to do that. And it, it's just like I had to be in that vibe where if it's going to be something that God intends to bring back into my life, it's going to come back. But it, it, it's just like with people, you know, um, if it's meant to come back, you have a lot of times you have to be able to release things. You know, a lot of times we hold tight grip on our past. We hold tight grip of relationships, marriages. Uh, even our children, we try to hold tight on those. And if it's at that point where there there's a 
vibe where the journey is going to be separated for that moment maybe possibly you know you have to be able to have faith in it, it you know maybe we have to go down our separate vibes to be able to see what we took for granted what we didn't appreciate um what we need to focus on when it comes to ourselves that we may have been conflicting with that we couldn't see because we were in the midst of distractions amongst other people and that's the reason why we have to go into uh, uh isolation you know not isolation but solitude not being isolated because it'd be it'll be kind of conflicting on saying that us i'm gonna stop using that word isolation but in solitude because um I feel like solitude gives you that chance to be with self, you know, placing love into yourself, putting more kinder thoughts into your life, being able to eliminate, you know, the old, because it's like we're writing a, a whole new book. It's not we're on a new chapter, we're on a whole new book. You know, you're you're inventing a whole new story. You know, we, we've told our story of the, the, you know, of the cycles that we constantly went through all the time the pain you know what people are doing what people are trying to block what people are trying to destroy it's all about what you focus on all what you see matters yes if something was destroyed or something was taken away then that means it's going to have an opportunity for you to manifest something else for you to build on something else to work towards something else nothing is that nothing that is for you can never be taken away so it'll be at that time where you're understanding we have to get out of that mindset to be able to say, oh, this person is blocking that. They can't block anything. They can distract you from it. You know, they can't, you know, it's like, oh, this person took this. They can't take anything from me. It was just at that time, I may not have been spiritually ready, physically ready, emotionally and mentally ready for the things that I really truly want in my life. So this is preparing me, you know, preparing me for something that, you know, I have, it could be more than what you're, you're expecting. You know, you're making that decision where I'm not going to allow myself to face, you know, uh, not to face, but focus on, you know, paying attention to what other people are doing to try to hold me back. You know, there's a lot of times where, you know, I, I've had vibrations to where they did any and everything to keep me from my truth, from me speaking my truth. That's what the stroke, show, uh, what is the stroke, uh, see what they're doing now. Throat chakra, heart chakra, crown, root, you know, all these different things, even solar plexus. You know, I had to be able to be at that point where this is like, let me change what my focus is. You know, I'm, I'm just going to allow myself to focus on me. And this is what it is. It's not about them. This is about what I'm doing for me. You know, this is my path. This is my purpose. So let me go ahead and focus on that. And that's what, you know, you have to be able to do for yourself. You know, we've gone through many years where, oh, I don't want to speak my truth because this may offend somebody. If you already know your truth, if, if you're not intentionally hurting anybody and, you know, you could be speaking to somebody like this is not my intention to hurt you, but I'm speaking my truth. You know, stop walking on eggshells about things because anytime it, it the energy is provoking somebody to grow provoking somebody to step out of darkness is always going to be a vibration of resistance in some kind of way you know uh, when you know when you're allowing yourself to be open to be teachable we have to be able to expect the unexpected for those different things to happen and for that you know it's going to challenge you it's going to change you and it's going to feel down right uncomfortable but these are the different things that is for the greater good these are all you know they always tell us you know and a lot of time we give the side eye like whatever you know, this is not happening to us. It's happening for us. It's creating better strength for you. These are the different things where when you know you're a Hayoka, you know you're you're sent to be a warrior, whether it's the 1044 or you're, you're Anchurian or you're a starseed or you're, you're um, a violet ray, blue ray, twin ray, flame, whatever. You're, everybody has their destiny. Everybody has their purpose. Everybody has their duty. Even the people that come in your life that's trying to break you, hurt you, deceive you, lie on you, bash you, whatever. Everybody is playing their part onto initial you in your growth. Because it's just at that vibe when you know you have the all, all whole armor of God behind you. There is nothing that you know is going to take place where you'll be able to see certain things where you be placed in certain positions where it could have took somebody out you know and you have to be at that vibe if it was meant for you it would have happened at that moment but if it's not it's going to continue to keep protecting you because it's just like when you wake up the next day you know you still have a job to do and these are the different things it's like you're going through this transitional phase and we have to be able to 
allow ourselves to get in that vibe of speaking to ourselves a lot more you know when we we allow ourselves and then a lot of times you know we're in human emotions so there yes there's gonna be time we're we're scared yes there's gonna be different times where we're very highly confused it happens you know and it's just like don't allow yourself to be harsh on yourself like ugh, you know I allowed this to get me but get to me but then you're being honest with yourself that something actually triggered you something actually hurt you something actually made you mad and you're okay to feel that way you are okay to feel that way and that is fine to be able to do and that's with you being honest with yourself that's with you being in your utmost integrity because you're honest enough to say something has switched your emotions and then that's your point on being able to say now what the question you have to ask yourself why why did it affect us why did it hurt us where why did it trigger fear why is it bothersome why is that you know allowing myself to be in those loops and when we're allowing ourselves to breathe for a moment and, and get out of our own ways because we can do that um being able to understand why you know why is why you know and those are the different things that's taking place for you to when you're being more gentle with yourself because a lot of times is a you know it's so much more common that we speak negative towards towards ourselves oh you're stupid you're this you know why are you so naive and it's just like never never regret having a good heart you know there may be different times where people manipulate you people uh think that you're stupid and they can get over on you and that's not the case even though they may feel that way that's not the case and you have to be able to get that out of your mind too because i'm telling you that is not the case it's just the fact that you have a kind heart that was your beautiful gift because this world is very cruel we see it every day how hateful people can be you know there's a lot of things where people are still moving through their childhood wounds you know, there's a lot of different things that people refuse to heal from. And those are the different things where our part within that circle, when we were cho chosen to be that one where you stand differently, even though you may have gone through everything that they have gone through, but you stand differently because you're showing somebody, you know what, I've gone through these different things, but I refuse to allow myself to use that to be able to reflect and project and deflect on other people in bad ways. I don't have to be that way. You don't have to be that way. But I made my choice to be able to become a better person. And hopefully my change to where you're watching me allows you to do the same. You know, and it'll be th at that point you can sit up here and say, you know, and I must have said something. Because it was like, because all of a sudden my third eye started itching. You know, it, it allows me to become a better person. It's just like if somebody watches me. I know a lot of people watch me. They watch me for the good. And there's a lot watch me for the bad. And it's just for me to be able to speak in my truth. Hopefully that triggers something for them to be able to do the same. You know, and I pray for those enemies that do that. You know, you watch me. I pray for you to be able to do the same. Because you have, you, when we do things to hurt and harm other people even though it, it can be projected on them it comes back to us it comes back to us even when we feel like oh, i'm gonna hurt that person because of this 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 and that and we don't realize if it's not meant for that person it's going to teach that person something but it's going to teach us a lot more and um you know we're going through all the growth that we possibly can and these are the different things that are taking place that, you know, is supposed to happen. Everything that's taking place in our life is supposed to happen that way. You may be going through di different things where you're still at, at, you have more questions than you do answers. And this is at that time on that purpose that you're really going to find that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. I hope you have a, um, your outcome of the new year has really been truly blessed. If it's not, hey, I'm sending so many blessings for it to turn around for you is in that way. Um, thank y'all so much for watching the videos and supporting me in every way. It is so greatly appreciated. Like I always say, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's either, you know, you can DM me or text me. You know, there's a lot of different things where we discuss, uh, that I help other people we discuss uh what, what is this spiritual you know our spiritual networking that's why I'm just saying did no videos for a while so I'm getting kind of messed up on my intro and outro so y'all forgive me but um it's uh just basically have helping you have a deeper deeper purse 
deeper purpose of understanding where your life is at, where is it trying to take you, you know, why certain things happen the way they have and where it unfolds. And I love being a part of being able to help so many people. I've done it before, whether I, you know, I still talk to, uh, to certain individuals or we have part ways, you know, I still send love. Uh, growth and healing towards their way and anything that you know is going to help them uh, grow in their understanding of whatever life is giving them um, and just being able to help other people because I really love to be able to do that you know and it, it's just like a student teacher thing you know there's a lot of different things you may have overcome that I may be struggling with and vice versa you know and just being able to help each other heal there's too many different things that's trying to tear us down and we're really trying to build that back up so I really love to be able to do that whatever we speak on is confident and um, it will be able to stay that way, you know, and I help out the best way I possibly can. Um, also, you know, on my community section, there's different posts to be able to help um, you, whether it's going through retrograde, which retrograde uh, just ended today, thank God. Uh, different things just to uplift you, you know, give you positive thinking throughout the day, you know, just give you a general reminder, you know, whatever, you know, just keep working on the different things that you're doing. If you need to take a pause for the cause, you go ahead and do that, but jump right back on it. You know, there's, there's time where you have to self-reflect, self-care, be heavy on that, you know, take time out for yourself. You know, it's not anybody who tells you that's being selfish, uh, placing love into yourself first, placing, make sure your peace is all, 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 all tense, you know, and toes down you got to be heavy with your peace you got to be heavy with your boundaries you have to be able to do that anytime somebody tell you that's selfish that's a whole lot that's what you always supposed to do be steady you know be very secure on that so um you know i'll be placing those different things on community section as well as you know my podcast as well because a lot of them i did not share that i've already have uh done so i want to start bringing those out there because you know you may see the post dates like Robin did this over a year ago there'll be different ones that I have not yet shared over here on my um, on my platform, so I want to be able to bring those out just to be able to. It helps remind me of the different things that I was guided to talk about, but I love to be able to share it with other people because you never know what they may be going through, and just be able to help them as well. Um, as well as if you feel generous enough to drop a donation towards the channel, as well as support, you know. Cash App is also there as well. And thank you for the past donations that I've already got to. It's truly appreciated. Um, and what else did I need to say? Oh, yeah. Even through social distancing, please make sure you give out so much love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. Those things can really take somebody a long way. And just for you applying that for no attention, motivation, or intentions, um, it's going to take you even further. And, you know, please be safe and responsible at every single thing you do. As always, Happy New Year. And sending so much abundance, love, vibes of prosperity, you know, upliftment, healing, balance, enlightenment, calmness, whatever you're needing into your life. You know, I'm sending that a million times fold. And, you know, much love to you. Uh, God bless. Shalom. I say peace. Much love. Later.